Who painted this piece? Who is this lady? And why is there a fly on her head? This is Dakota Upton, and you are watching What the Heck History. Let's uncover some of the mystery, shall we? There is no trace of the artist's signature on this piece. To figure out the painting's origins, we must do some digging. The cone-shaped headdress worn by the lady was all the rage among noblewomen in the 15th century. The headdress is depicted in such fine detail and has the illusion of volume and dimensionality. Only a talented artist would be capable to capture this so skillfully. Another clue in the upper left corner reads Borna Hofer in German. Additionally, the medium used by the artist was oil, which became widely used in the 15th century in Europe. The lady's dress, surname, medium, and techniques used are consistent with that of the artists working in the Swabian region of Europe in the 1400s. Swabi, huh? The Swabian region is located in southwestern Germany. In the 15th century, this region was part of the Holy Roman Empire. Hoffer was unfortunately a common surname of the time. And no one has come forward to say that this is their supremely, extraordinarily great grandma. Well, back to that dang fly. Due to the expense, having a portrait commissioned would be a notable event, limited to the wealthy. The woven pattern fabric of her dress, the fur lining, the impeccable headdress, and gold rings all indicate that she was very well off. So why the heck would they add this pest? The fly was painted in such detail and lifelike, it looks as if it simply landed on the painting. Maybe it's just a joke, an illusion to deceive the viewer into swatting the painting. By positioning the fly on the woman's headdress, the artist is highlighting the skill and craftsmanship that went into creating the piece. Flies by their nature, like the smell of decay, and are associated with the fleeting nature of life. By adding a fly to the portrait, the artist could be making a commentary on vanity and how beauty is transitory, or possibly indicating that the lady has passed away. But there's more to this painting than just a fly on a headdress. Look closely and you'll see that the woman is holding a sprig of forget-me-nots. The woman is gesturing towards them with her delicate fingers, inviting us to take a closer look. Now, forget-me-nots were sometimes used as a symbol of love, so it's possible that the woman was engaged or newly married when the portrait was commissioned, but they are also a symbol of remembrance, suggesting that the painting was meant to be a memento of the sitter after her death. Whatever the case may be, the forget-me-nots add a sense of melancholy to the painting. They serve as a reminder that even the most beautiful moments in life are fleeting. What do you think this painting is saying? We may never know everything about this woman in the portrait or the artist who painted her, but we can still appreciate the beauty and mystery of this incredible work of art.